Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shiva Kailash Shambo. I'm a 28 year old meditation master. Why did Andrew Tate join Islam? Why is Andrew Tate a Muslim? Let's hear my perspective, shall we? First and foremost, I see, I'm gonna guess here, this is just speculation. I mean, I'm gonna give you some facts later on. My speculation, my guess is that Andrew Tate joined Islam based on the uh, things that I've heard him say is because Islam is like a spiritual community, I'll say it in a nice way. Um, I can say it in a not so nice way because I don't want to put uh, too many red flags on YouTube here. So it's like a spiritual community where people have got your back, you know? And uh, if you're in a different kind of community, you're doing various things that you're doing, maybe legal, maybe some not so legal, then uh, you can feel safe knowing that other people have your back, especially the, your community members. So Islam is like that. Also, not to mention, or in addition to this, uh, just as I was uh, exercising here next to this palm tree, I was realizing that Islam is the only religion here on planet Earth currently that is still active and still new. It is still uh, flowering, it is still blossoming, it is still um, active, you know, and alive, which virtually all religions are not. For example, the Buddha's teachings are not actively alive as they were once were. A Christianity, for sure not. It's still alive, it's still active, yet not in the same bubbling kind of energy as Islam. So Islam is the only religion that can really take in new people, whereas other religions cannot. Even though I've studied virtually all religions, I'm currently immersed in Hinduism, it's not the same flavor as uh, Islam, because Islam is so new, it's so fresh, I'm guessing, I'm assuming, and that's why it's still so ripe. It's ripe like a, like a fruit. It's just ripening, actually. It hasn't even ripened. So it's just ripening. It's the perfect time to eat. So that's part of the reason why uh, Andrew Tate joined Islam. Another part I can see is that because of his massive, the pressure that has been put on by the world, but been put on him, that uh, he had to find some kind of release. And religion ultimately is the only way to do that or to find some kind of spiritual pathway and, and guidance, and which he has. And I'm very fortunate and grateful to say that he has, and he is spiritual. He's beginning to be. He's choosing to be. Yet, with this being said, if that man dies today or tomorrow, hopefully not, I wish him a very long and prosperous and healthy life. If he were to die today or tomorrow, it would not be good for him. It would not be a, a good or positive thing. Which, if this was my case, if I were to pass away today or tomorrow, God forbid, it would be no problem at all whatsoever. Either I would choose to be reincarnated once again, either in this physical plane and on the human earth or some other realm, or I would simply dissolve, dissolve. Like if I were to throw up, uh, you know, an iceberg into that uh, ocean right there, it's super hot. It's like going to be 38 degrees Celsius today. That iceberg would simply melt and become one with the ocean. Similarly, I would be that. I would do that. Why? Because the, the density and the heaviness of your physical casing, if it's very dense and very heavy, uh, you're expected to uh, come up against a lot of problems once you leave your physical body and go to the wherever you're going to next. So why can I say that? Well, because Andrew Tate has lived a poor and unhealthy life. Unhealthy being not in the physical sense, in the ethical and moral sense. He has chosen a path which is a dangerous path. Yet he achieved what he wanted to achieve, I'm guessing, assuming he acquired a lot of money for whatever, whatever that's worth. Even though uh, he's been a huge help to me personally in the world and also to a lot of men. Most specifically, I'm talking about, I was listening to him speak and he's talking about how much money is amassed. And I could actually see from, a, from my first perspective, someone speaking in a normal way about financial success in that way. And it cleared up my eyes so much. I could actually see what it is. Because, you know, these financial guys and business gurus and all these guys, they're so, they're so far away from me. I can't even, it's like that, that world is not near me at all. I can't see myself doing that ever. Yet, Andrew Tate is kind of like me, you know, he's, he's part of me. And uh, so uh, he's helped me to clarify some of the things that I've seen. Talking about Islam. I like Islam, actually. I like the flavor of it and the feeling of it. It's very, it's like a, a very cool breeze fire it's not even like a gentle fire like a blue fire it's like you know when it's a summer's day and it's a cool breeze but the breeze is made up of gentle fire and it just kind of burns it purifies you the fire purifies you 
when it's done correctly, when it's done appropriately, right? There's a lot of uh, people that take Islam very, with a lot of uh, creative interpretation, and they go out and do various things in the world, like you know, I'm sure you can imagine. Uh, that obviously is not correct. It is not uh, spiritual and it is not holy. It is not what God wants. 100% I know that for a fact. Because life does not want you to destroy life. It is not possible. You cannot destroy life without first destroying yourself. If you destroy life around you, you are should be sure to destroy yourself. So don't do that. There is an afterlife. There is something after you die. And that should be the biggest thing that scares you away from doing wrongdoings. This is a very appropriate scene here. I'm, you see, I'm uh, filming this in Darwin, Australia. This is a, uh, a World War II cannon. They were fighting off the Japanese here. As the Japanese were coming and uh, trying to do whatever they were doing, they're trying to destroy them. All right, Islam and Andrew Tate. So like I've said in the previous video, I can see Andrew Tate's energy shifting in a meaningful way when he turns 48 years old. And you mark my words this will happen. If he stays alive that long until 48, he will shift his energy to the point where he will be kind of a, a man to be looked up to, which uh, right now he is not. He is like, like a criminal, I'm, I'm sad to say. All right, that's the end of this video and stay tuned for the following video. Take care.